Okay, here I'm going to show you how to make a basic movie using Windows Live Movie Maker. Once the application is open, you go to the top under the Home tab, click Add Videos and Photos. You locate the containing folder that has the media that you'd like to add. You can hold Control to click on several different clips and photos at a time. Hit Open, which will bring everything over here on the right-hand side of the screen. If you want to rearrange it, you can just click on it and just drag and drop. You can also trim video clips. If you click on that clip that you want to edit, go up to the top where it says Video Tools and Edit. To trim it, you click on the Trim Tool. Over here, you can choose the ending point by using the up and down arrow keys to shorten or lengthen it. Or you can simply type in a value to stop it at, say, 10 seconds and hit Save Trim. You can also split a clip by putting the cursor, drag it over to the spot you want to split it. And the same thing up here at Video Tools and Edit, hit Split, which now turn that into two separate clips. You can drag a photo to put into the middle of it as well. If you want to add transitions, at the top, click on the Animations tab. And on the top left of the screen, we'll show you the transitions where you can click on this down arrow, which will show you all of them that Windows Live Movie Maker has. And just choose which ones that you like that suit your personal preference. You click on one. You can either choose to apply it to every media clip you have in there, or you can just do it individually by putting your cursor on that clip and choosing each transition for that. When you're finished editing, you go up to the top for this blue tab. You can save your project as if you want to come back to it, work on it later. Or if you're done, you click Save Movie and then click for your computer. Choose where you want to save the movie at on your computer, name it, and click Save. It will go through and save your movie, and at the end you can either play it, open the containing folder, or close it. Once it's saved to your computer, you can easily upload it to your YouTube channel.